Hi, I'm Emma from Pet Plan. I'm here today with Brian Faulkner. Brian, we're talking about epilepsy today in dogs. Can you tell us what is epilepsy? Well, epilepsy is one of the causes of fitting or seizures in dogs. And epilepsy is actually a diagnosis of exclusion, as we call it. In other words, it's a condition if we can't work out any other reason why dogs are fitting, we often call it epilepsy. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about the symptoms that we can expect to see from a dog suffering from epilepsy? Yeah, the symptoms relate to fitting, and fitting can be quite variable, fitting or a seizure. And fitting can be quite distressing for the owners who have never seen it before. And that can be anything from the dog lying out on its side to uh, being out of control, sometimes they wet, and sometimes they look like just like they're being electrocuted. On other occasions, it can actually be quite mild, called a PT mal and the dogs can actually just have a little wobble, they can just be a wee bit uncoordinated for a few moments. And this, the fits can last anything for about 30 seconds right up until about two minutes. So what are the treatment options available for a dog that may be suffering from epilepsy? The first thing we have to do is make a diagnosis of epilepsy and that can be quite tricky uh, because often it's diagnosing by exclusion. In other words we have to work out are there any causes causing fits that we can treat directly things like maybe poisoning or traumas or maybe internal problems with the bo dog's body. So brain scans and things like that can be useful. And if we diagnose that it's epilepsy, in other words, just fitting, and the best way to think about it is a wee bit like a computer crashing. Uh, it just goes offline for a while and we just have to help it reset. And what we can do is give long-term medication. The question is always when do we treat? Because the medicine, giving a dog medicine for life has got its downsides, but then sometimes we of course don't want the dogs to suffer the fits. So we normally say if your dog's having a fit more frequently than once a month, we'll treat. And we use medications and we monitor monthly or every three monthly with, with uh, blood samples to make sure that it's in the appropriate levels. And how successful are these treatments? Will the dog resume to normal? Will the fits be less likely to happen? Yeah, the idea is to control the fits. We don't really want to have the fits. We don't necessarily switch them off 100%. We can't always promise to owners that your dog will never have another fit, but we very much want to reduce them. Some dogs will actually have no more fits on treatment. Sometimes dogs even are able to come off treatment as they get older. But normally epileptic patients are epileptic for life. You can never really guarantee that we'll stop the fits, that they'll never have one again. It's just about regulating how often they happen. But generally, they live very normal lives.